welcome to The Good Path. I am in Pembroke, Virginia today on the Cascades Trail. This is one of my top five. <laughs> it is a Monday morning. It's about 67 degrees Fahrenheit and it's just bliss in the woods right now. This is a highly trafficked trail with good reason. So that's why I'm here on a Monday morning. <laughs> There's about 10 cars in the parking lot and so I may see some people out here. I'll try to be quiet on the trail today, but I'm excited for you to see this one. This beautiful stonework and steps takes you out to a little fishing spot. close and personal these beautiful cascades and waterfalls on this trail it is very rocky there are some challenging rocky parts to navigate through this trail is rated moderate but to me it's moderate slash difficult <laughs> because of those because of those areas trekking poles are helpful And here's just one of the reasons why this trail is so special. I can't say I've ever been on a trail like this with a stone walkway. Wow. Oh Lord, a large tree just fell out here. And that gave me a good adrenaline rush. Oh my Lord. Too bad I didn't have the camera going when that happened. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I know it's just a sea of green for a video. Maybe you can see that log in the center of the screen. That tree just fell. Wow, I am literally shaking. <laughs> it's too bad I'm not better with this, um, with my camera to have captured that. But that tree, that was maybe 50 yards uphill from where I was hiking, fell. Wow.
And there's some elevation gain after you cross over the second bridge, crossing the creek for the second time. We're making our way up to the beautiful waterfalls. This part of the trail just amazes me because we're a mile and a half, mile point seven in, and look at this stone pathway, look at this stone staircase. It looks like a movie set. Well, you can see that trees are not the only thing that fall out here. There's a pretty big slip. grown since I was here last. If you take the high road above the falls, you'll see a sign here that says parking lot to your left. If you hang a right, you'll be on the Conservancy Trail, and I believe that is the way that you can go out to Barney's Wall. I've never I've gone out that path a little ways, but not not more than half a mile. It's a pretty cool area up here, really. There's a it's like a fire pit. And then they have, you know, some other stones that are etched. 
you really have to look at it, but it says parking lot two miles. So this is the way I am going to go. This is a more gentle grade. A little easier than following the, the creek. humidity there's a nice breeze um, welcome back to fire road is, is really nice it gives your knees a break not as scenic it doesn't follow as closely to the creek but it is a nice a nice walk back to the park parking lot I wanted to let you all know about a charitable event that I'm participating in this year I learned about it from a fellow youtuber which I will link his wonderful channel in my description below but this is a fundraiser nationwide fundraiser for the american foundation for the prevention of suicide a very worthy cause and for those of you who like to get outdoors and hike anyway you could also be helping a wonderful charitable event to help people with with mental illness and uh, raise awareness for that um, hiking has done me so good with just helping with anxiety and just everybody is dealing with you know some kind of struggle that's why we should be kind to everyone we meet everybody's going through something i invite you to join 46 palms and here's the bridge where we're completing a loop i'm going to take a little detour down here Coming back out to the parking lot now. Significantly more people here now. <laughs> it's about one o'clock in the afternoon. It took me about three hours to do that round trip, but I stop and take a lot of pictures and take a lot of the little spur trails. So for me, it was about four and a half miles today. 